Good morning, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Thursday, July 2nd. We are continuing with the Matin service found in the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. If you don't have an ELW, you can follow along just fine without it at home, I promise. And I'll make sure to have the lyrics to the verse of uh, the song that we're singing in the video description, so you can follow along with that as well. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 145, verses 8 through 14. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. Lord, you are good to all, and your compassion is over all your works. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your faithful ones shall bless you. They shall tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your power, that all my people may know of your power and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. You, Lord, are faithful in all your words and loving in all your works. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up those who are bowed down. Our song for this morning is number 742 in the ELW, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. And we have those words in the uh, description and we will sing the third verse together. Are we... Weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of care. Precious Savior, still our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do your friends despise, forsake you, take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield you. You will find a solace there. Our reading for this morning is from Zechariah chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. In the eighth month, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah, son of Berechiah, son of Iddo, saying, the Lord was very angry with your ancestors. Therefore say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Return to me, says the Lord of hosts, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. Do not be like your ancestors, to whom the former prophets proclaimed, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Return from your evil ways and from your evil deeds. But they did not hear or heed me, says the Lord. Your ancestors, where are they? And the prophets... Do they live forever? But my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants, the prophets, did they not overtake your ancestors? So they repented and said, The Lord of hosts has dealt with us according to our ways and deeds, just as God planned to. We continue with the prayers of intercession. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. <clears throat> Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of mercy and forgiveness, for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church. For what else do the people of God give thanks? Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern the nations of the world for the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, 
for the church of Jesus Christ in every land. For what else did the people of God pray? O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love is supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, blessed and holy Trinity, bless and preserve us all of our days. Amen.